as many of you may be aware, Microsoft made the upgrade to Windows 10 available for free. I took advantage of that upgrade, and I upgraded my own laptop to Windows 10. My son upgraded his own tablet to Windows 10. He's the next generation of employee, and he is going to expect to do these things every time. But <clears throat> here's the kick. With the success of Bring Your Own Programs, I expect to bring my Windows 10 laptop into work the very next day. And I expect to gain access to my line of business applications. I expect to gain access to my web applications. I expect to be productive. I expect to do my job. But here's the challenge. I did this before my company's IT department had done their app compatibility testing for Windows 10. I did this before my company's IT department had done their web app testing against the new Edge browser. And certainly before they had created their own Windows 10 rollout strategy. I had beat them to the punch. So what kept me up at night was what was going to happen the next day when I walked into work. Would my IT department tell me, I'm sorry we don't support you on Windows 10? Would they hand me one of their devices instead of letting me use my own? I was wrought with anxiety. <laughs> the next day I walk into my company and the IT department, the guys in the IT department, they embraced me. Not physically, of course, that would be weird. They embraced me running Windows 10. And they told me, they said, you know what? Direct yourself over to the citrix.com forward slash downloads page from your Windows 10 device and search for something called the Citrix Receiver. Find the Citrix Receiver for Windows 10. Technically, it's version 4.3. Great, glad I know that. They said, do the install for that. It's real easy. It's a click, click, next install. So simple a guy with a marketing degree can do it. And I did. But in the magic of food TV, I have pre-baked the install of that Citrix receiver. And they told me this will be your unified storefront for all corporate applications, all web applications that we will support. And when I launched it on the first time, it asked me for my work email address, which I entered because I knew it. Amen? That created a secure connection for me to my ZenApp server sitting protected behind the corporate vault the data center. And that could be several floors away, that could be hundreds of miles away, that could be thousands of miles away. Creates a secure connection between me and that Zen app server, which is where my line of business applications are actually running. Nothing is natively installed on this device. My data does not reside locally on this device. And you can see through this storefront that I have my line of business apps. I have my Office 2013. I have my Office 2010. And I can actually run them simultaneously on the same device. But they're not running here. Although I get the native look and feel as if they're running here, they're running on that ZenApp server virtually, sending a screen scrape back to me on this device. And I'm sending back to that ZenApp server, I'm sending keyboard and mouse commands. I even have the opportunity that my IT department's provided to me a full Windows 7 desktop experience with all of their supported applications and web applications inside of it. And I can be productive from day one on my newly minted Windows 10 device. Now, here's the deal. If I wanted to get away from that Windows 10 device, if I wanted to get into another device, let's sneak away from Windows 10 for just a second. Don't tell Satya Nadella I said that. Let's say I want to gain access from my tablet. And here's my tablet right here. You can see I have the same user experience on that tablet. You can see that I have the same corporate supported applications as well. And if you had the camera working, you'd see it even better. So I can actually launch that Windows 7 desktop experience from here. And what you'll notice 
is the Windows 7 desktop seamlessly glided from one laptop to my tablet device. Maintaining productivity regardless of the device. And because there are no, oops, because there are no apps and data installed on this device, they are disposable and I can leave them anywhere. So in conclusion, I took the upgrade to Windows 10 into my own hands. Corporate IT provided me access to a store. I got the flexibility of device, the company maintained business continuity, and my corporate IT had centralized control as well as enhanced security. Amen? Amen. Thank you.